Hello, welcome to 1210, Solving Probability Problems by Using Combinations. A class consists of 19 girls and 15 boys. If 12 of the students are to be selected at random, determine the probability that they are all girls. So in this, the number of combinations of girls, 19 choose 12, because we're choosing 12 out of the 19. And the total number of combinations for children would be 34 choose 12. So to find the probability that they're all girls, it would be 19 choose 12 over 34 choose 12. So example one, let's determine what the probability of being dealt three aces from a standard deck of 52 cards when three cards are dealt. So we have aces, there are four. Total cards, 52. So we're looking at 4 choose 3, because we want them all to be aces out of 52 choose 3. That's 4 choose 3 over 52 choose 3. That's going to be 0 0.00018. The calculator may be given to you in scientific notation with like E negative 4. That means times 10 to the negative 4, but there you are in decimal form, standard form. Example 2. Of 80 people attending a dance, 20 have a college degree. If four people at the dance are selected at random, determine the probability that each of the four has a college degree. So this would be the number of people with college degrees divided by the number of people. Okay. So one of the probability that um, four of the four people chosen have college degrees. So 28 choose four over 80 people. 80 choose four. That's going to be point zero one two nine five. Scroll on. Duck Chan Wallet contains eight bills of the following denominations four bills, four five dollar bills, two ten dollar bills, and one twenty dollar bill, and one fifty dollar bill. If Duck selects two bills at random, determine the probability that he selects two five dollar bills. So he has four five dollar bills. So it's going to be 4 choose 2, and there's a total of 8 bills. 8 choose 2. So it's going to be 4 choose 2 over 8 choose 2. Should be a subscript there. And that's going to be 0 0.2142857. Or 3 fourteenths. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next page. Oh, I'm not a big uh, poker player or card player. I like games like gin and things like that, but not big on poker, so I'm always knowing the hands. It says here, a full house in poker consists of three of one kind and two of another kind in a five-card hand. For example, the hand contains three kings and two fives. It is a full house. If five cards are dealt at random from a standard deck of 52 cards without replacements, determine the probability of getting three kings and two fives. So kings there are four. Fives, there are also four. So when we look at the kings part, it'd be four choose three. And the fives, that'd be four choose two. We're going to multiply these, divided by 52, choose five. And that's going to be one over 108,290. Very unlikely hand. Okay, 
10. So it's 4 kings, that's what's 4 choose 3, because we're having 3 kings and 2 5, so 4 choose 2. Total number of cards, choose 5. Here, our last question, go ahead and pause if you need some more time. There. An airline is given permission to fly 40 routes. I think I misspelled routes. R O T E S. Of its choice, the airline is considering 12 new routes four in Florida, five in California, and three in Texas. If the airline selects the four new, four new routes at random from the 12 possibilities, determine the probability that two are in Florida and two are in Texas. So that would be um, Florida had four, Texas had three. That would be four choose two times three choose two over 12 choose four. That's two over 55. What's the probability three are in California, one is in Florida? California has five routes. So for California, that's five choose three times Florida was four choose one over 12 choose four. That's eight over 99. C says one is in Florida, one is in California, two are in Texas. So for the Florida, C, that's a four choose one. California, five choose one. Texas are three choose two. So it's four choose one times five choose one times three choose two over 12 choose four. And you get four over 33. And finally, D, at least one is in Texas. Probability of at least one in Texas is one minus the probability that none are in Texas. So Texas has three flights. Non-Texas, or not Texas, would be nine flights. So what we're looking here is the probability of no Texas is 9 choose 4 over 12 choose 4. And that's 14 over 55. So the probability of at least 1 Texas is going to be 1 minus 14 over 55, which is 41 over 55. Okay. That'll do it for 12.10, solving probability problems using combinations. Send me your questions. Thank you.